to another resolution that we all make and that of course is eating better and rethinking what's on your plate registered dietitian and nutritionist don jackson blattner is here to break it all down for us don good morning to you it's great to have you so we're going to kick things off by saying that you know these tips are about adding foods right so we're adding instead of subtracting and that makes it a little easier Oh my gosh. Well, Happy New Year. You are so right that this is when everyone wants to eat better, but it can be so confusing about what actually to do. And so people think, well, what can I cut out? You know, what kind of crash diet can I be on? And I'm here to say you don't need any of that. If you go with what you add, that makes it feel much more positive, much more motivating. And I'll tell you, I have three simple tips that you can use to eat better this year in a positive way. Okay, and you, one of those ideas you say is to make sure that every meal and snack has a protein. Well, first off, I would always say fruits and vegetables. That is the number one tip to add them because they have antioxidants to keep your cells so healthy, your immunity high, that fiber in fruits and vegetables keeps you full, keeps your digestion going. And I'm not just saying eat fruits and vegetables and that's all you eat. I'm saying add fruits and vegetables to what you're already eating. So you eat cereal in the morning, add berries. You eat a sandwich for lunch, just have some veggie sticks with it. Or if you're having, you know, a burger, or pizza for dinner, eat a salad with it. You don't even have to change what you're eating. Just add that fruits and veggies and that is your first step to good health. Let's talk about grains because people get very funny about grains and carbohydrates in general. You say add, uh, do half of the grains you eat as whole grains and you have some easy swaps for people. Well, yes, I, I love the whole grain swap, but you had mentioned something earlier that I love too, is making sure your plate has protein because protein is great for your muscles and great for your immunity and it keeps us feeling full. And there's animal proteins and plant proteins to get a mix of. And so I'm talking about cottage cheese and Greek yogurt and eggs in the morning and I, chicken and fish and beans and lentils and nuts and seeds. All of these protein foods are a huge next step. So once you get your fruit and vegetables then you go with your proteins and then the final step is exactly what you said is we all like grains uh, but hey let's go with some whole grains they're more nutritious than those white refined ones and I'm here to tell you it's easier to do than you think because like for example you might have uh, white bread or white rice or white pasta or white crackers or white tortillas or white buns or white bread you can still eat all of that but just swap in the whole grain version and how you know that it's a whole grain version is you read the ingredient list uh, of your food and then you can see if it says the word whole in the ingredients that's a whole grain so you see these are all very positive change I'm not cutting anything out we're not you know removing things you love we're just saying hey add some fruits and veggies to what you're already eating make sure you have those protein foods at your meals to help you feel full and keep your muscles strong and then those whole grains still allow you to eat the grains, but they're just a little bit more nutritious than those refined versions. Excellent. We love that. And, and the slow motion video of like the avocado I spread the too. Milk too. I I'm officially starving. Thank you very much. For, yeah. that milk. <laughs> Don, you're the best. We appreciate it. And a uh, happy new year to you as well. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.